We got exciting news for those of you that are interested. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department now has an online portal for applying for your CCWs. Definitely worth checking out. Thanks for joining us again on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we've got some exciting news to share. Just in the last couple of months, uh, Riverside County Sheriff's Department has basically rolled out a brand new program where you can apply for your concealed weapons uh, permit and do it all online. What's really exciting is the fact is now people are looking at less than two months from the time they start to the time they get it. So things have been shortened, things have been drastically reduced, it's been simplified, and it's easier than ever. Uh, for starters, we'd like to thank our subscribers for sticking with us, giving us traction. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit the like, the share, and, and also the button that allows for instant notifications. Uh, that way you'll be on top of every video that we put out. So back to the new program, it's all online, and it's just been rolled out with new Sheriff Bianco. Um, I've had a chance to look at it, I've had a chance to work with it a little bit, and there's a lot to be said for it. The beauty of it is you can do it all from your living room to get the ball started, and it's a much shorter timeline to get things done. Um, we're going to provide you with uh, the link to get there, but once you go online, you're going to have three different areas that you can choose from. Uh, the first button that you can, you can hit is going to get you into new applications. The second button will be renewals, and the third button will be there for you to make an amendment to change your CCW if for some reason there's something that you want to add, something that you want to subtract, or if for some reason you've changed your address and need to update it. But let's talk about the system for just a few minutes. Um, all of it's online. Now, it used to be that there was a very long uh, application involved and basically Riverside County has done away with the nearly 30 page application full of yes or no questions uh, as well as fill-ins and now it's basically just been shortened to just the California uh, DOJ application and it really doesn't take that long to get through it. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to fill out all your personal contact information and you're still going to have the same amount of associated documents that you need to provide, like your birth certificate, proof of residency, your cause letter. But what you're going to do with those is you're going to create a digital copy for each one of those as a PDF, and you're going to upload those into the system. So as you get into the system, one of the things that you're going to do is create an account for yourself as well as a password. So as you're going through it, you're going to fill out the application, and if for some reason you get stuck, you can, you can exit the system and come back into it later. So it's not as if you have to do it as an all or nothing. If for some reason you're missing a document, you can come back to it. So they make it pretty painless. It's not that difficult. Um, you're just going to provide all of the information that's there. And when you're through filling out all of your information, you're going to be able to set up your own interview time and date. And I had a chance to talk with one of the investigators in the office just yesterday, and he said that since the system is rolled out, they've had over 300 applicants get through it with only a few problems. And basically, this is something that a lot of people are really happy with, because it shortens the workload for the officers and it gets the uh, end users, the CCW applicants, it gets them their CCW license much quicker and much easier. Uh, what you're still going to have to do is go in for your interview. Um, I was told that the interview process has been greatly shortened um, from nearly an hour to about 15 minutes. So you're not going to have to you know, spend a whole lot of extra time in the office and then they're going to sign you up for your required class at Ben Clark Training Center or a different class from one of their other vendors and you'll take your class, you'll qualify with your pistol and then the rest of the paperwork goes in and you wait for your call to go pick it up. Not that different. Um, it, it's not that much different if you want to do a renewal. 
the renewals you do every two years, it's slightly less since you're not going through all the initial background, but it's very much the same process and the process is very friendly. Uh, I went through it just to check it out and it didn't seem extremely hard. Um, it's a whole lot easier than the nearly 50 pages worth of application that a lot of people went through earlier on. Now, you can reference one of our earlier videos where it shows you uh, the actual uh, process for when you do your live fire qualification, and that hasn't changed at all. It's just the paperwork and the application process that's, that's changed. And one of the things I want to impress upon you is when you go up and do your qualifications, they are going to be judging you on your safety and your accuracy. The first part of the class, you're going to be working on the legal issues involved of having a CCW. In the afternoon, you're going to be doing the live fire quals. But something to point out is they don't teach you the practical skills that you would need for everyday concealed carry. They don't teach you holster work, so you work from a cold holster. They don't teach you the practical skills of how to move and shoot. The reason I'm saying this is if you want to come down and train with us, will teach you those practical skills that you'll need for every single day if you're going to carry a CCW. So with that, I want to thank everybody involved who's been supporting our channel. Um, we want to shout out for Lou Flores for giving us good comments. We appreciate your support, Lou. And uh, we'd also like to thank the rest of our supporters. If you like what we're doing, if you want to help uh, continue this series, you can also check us out on Patreon. We've got a page going there. Be sure to check us out. We're going to have some nice things there for those of us that want to join. Anyway, on behalf of Shoot of the Series, I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Y'all take care.